How's it guys? I'm back again. Um, what a day. Today is uh, a fun day here at Home Cinema King. I just did the unboxing of the Validine DB10 this morning. It's been playing in for a while. I popped out for a few quotations to see some clients. Rushed back because they phoned me and said, your Miller and Cresol system is at the gate. So I'm back. Here it is. So very excited for this guys as you all know i have been on a mission to do affordable home theater because i i realize not all of you guys have huge disposable incomes to spend on home theaters and um people don't realize how expensive home theater systems can be um i don't always like to mention prices but some of the guys called me out saying why don't i mention prices i'm going to start mentioning the prices bear in mind that these prices are going to be at recommended retail in south africa at the time being so um, prices all over the world differ and this is what makes it difficult these things get imported into our country um, import duties all of that to be blunt it shafts us big time so you can get this system in america or in europe for much cheaper than we get it here we always need to pay top dollar reason being why we started doing our own local brand so we can give the guys some bang for buck um but that being said i absolutely adore milan crystal and i still think it is one of the best ways to get into proper home cinema at a price so let's let me break it down for you what i want to try and do is make it as affordable as possible while still sounding excellent this is the cheapest system that miller and crystal makes that being said nothing about mk sound is cheap they are premium so we're going to unbox this system i am going to show you all the components then in the next video, I'm going to set this up. Well, you won't see me setting it up. It will be set up and then we will do some demos. I will tell you the pros and the cons for going with this system. Uh, also the amplifiers used to pair, although this is not going to be um, as demanding as the bigger systems. So this will be much more friendly. But my aim for this system is to do a home theater system, complete system. Okay guys, I had to clear out my camera now because it cut out in the middle of my video while I was still unboxing. So I don't know where I left off. I put the stuff back in the box. Um, cut the box. Luckily I didn't go far into it. But let me carry on by saying thanks again to, um, to Planet. Thank you Kyle. Thank you Richard. I had to buy this with my own money but they made me an excellent deal to do a good video and an honest review. And I'll always give you guys honest, guys an honest review. If it is bad, I'll tell you it's bad. I'll tell you where the drawbacks are, what the pros are, where you can better on this system. Um, again, not knowing what I said in the video before. Hopefully, I didn't cut out too much of this now. Um, I was going to go on... What I did explain was the engineered in Denmark that's on the box. All of their stuff gets engineered in Denmark. Their big stuff gets engineered, made, and assembled in Denmark. The smaller stuff, engineered in Denmark, made in China, but goes back to Denmark for assembly and quality control. So that is why you also pay a bit of a premium because they keep their brands close to their hearts the way it should be. I'm getting very sick of this made in China thing. We should all take our manufacturing and our power back and do quality on our products and not do it on the cheap. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm going to move a bit closer so I can show you guys what's in the box. Um, on top, just your welcome welcome logo, um, where you can register, register your stuff online, etc, etc. Put that there. Um, flip this a bit so you can see. There you go, very well packaged. Um, cardboard, just on top there to protect. Then you have your grill. I'm taking this is for the subwoofer. Just look at how nicely stuff like a grill is made at the back. Attention to detail. It all gets sprayed, gets lacquer on, 
there's there's nowhere where anything on this is done cheaply Miller and Crystal logo on front and again nice rubber logo um, everything is very tastefully done on a system like this you will actually use your grills because you want the system to disappear it's not something although it's very pretty it's not made to be seen let's see what is this side just gonna cut the tape away I think this will be the power brick for the subwoofer let's see little box Ooh, a few goodies in here again we have first off on top it's a fuse so I think this will be a fuse for the plates amplifier on the subwoofer how cool that they actually provide stuff like this in the box again like I said before um, if you want me to use something have it in the box but this is like next level unnecessary but very welcome and cool love it and this is on their cheapest set they go this far they still give you the michael jackson gloves um i'm actually going to use them this time because they they trust me they're cool because the the matte black in fingertips you want to use the gloves so i'll put them aside i'm going to use them now just look at the attention to detail proper proper 3m anti-vibration feet big ones not cheapy ones this is cool um, give you all the fastening stuff that you need to use to mount them to the wall again awesome um, like on the system i unboxed just a while ago they had nothing like this in there you have to do it all by yourself um, this is cool different power cables this is the eu this is the US, so both in the box. Okay, so let's put that to the side. That's all that. that there. Okay, and we take off this big polystyrene on top. And this box is heavy, guys. It's not as if this is anything cheaply done. This is properly, properly packaged. Okay, that's all. Just gonna put that on the floor. Flip it again so you can see before I take it out. There's all your stuff. Ooh, I feel like a kid at Christmas. So let's start with your LCR front. Again, you guys can't feel this, but the weight. The weight. And that's always an indicator of build quality. Weight. That's the floor. Insanely well packaged. Now let's get to the little Michael Jackson gloves so I don't leave my grubby little oily finger marks over all the speakers. <laughs> don't know what it is about these things. Every time I put them on when we're doing install, uh, I'm not going to do it now, but you can't, you can't not but do a little Michael Jackson impersonation and sounds. But anyways, let's get to it. So you got your nice protective um, foam or packaging, don't know what you call this. I'll just try and get this stuff off as neatly as possible. Which is never possible, but anyways, got that one off. Started taking off before, um, before my camera cuts out for the third time. These are the LCRs. Just look at the back. Everything is so well made. Anti-vibration pads. So it doesn't knock against the wall. You can mount it horizontally. You can mount it vertically. Very nice binding post. And guys, just keep in mind again, this is their entry level system. Um, just up it a bit so you guys can see. This is their entry level system. Um, this entire system sells for 31,999 South African rands for the system. Just add an amplifier, which is brilliant. So my mission with this whole thing is gonna to be to get into a cinema where guys can spend 100K, that will be amplifier, speakers, subwoofers, overheads for Atmos, um, projector, screen, um, 
a few acoustic panels, all the wiring, all the HDMIs. So that is where I want to be. I know 100K is not a small change, but in the cinema world, it is. It's, it's very affordable. So we will have this as the 100K affordable cinema. Then we will have the next level up will be the other THX system that I built. There will be 200 to 250K. And then up to the full Milan Crystal, the big boy, where it's going to be 500 to 600, maybe even 700, depending on your um, finish level. Do you want suede? Do you want the whole room covered in suede? All that sort of stuff. So different trim levels, different prices. Um, but I really want to try and do an affordable system for the masses. Okay, so let's see if I can take off this cover with these um, gloves on. Yep, I can. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. They do the most beautiful drivers. Beautiful tweeter, one-inch tweeter. Um, looks like a five, four or five-inch mid-range. I'll would put the I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can see. So these are going to be your LCRs. LCRs meaning that your front stage. Your left, center, and right is exactly the same. In a cinema setup, that is fundamentally important to have your front stage the same. Rear is not as much. Front stage, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to unbox one of those because they are all three the same for the front. Let's go to the surrounds. Guys, now this for me, I'm just going to step over. This for me is so impressive. They actually have a tripod in the affordable I'm just gonna tilt this again they have a tripod in their affordable system tripods are expensive guys um to have that as a start is so cool but i must also say having had the tripods it's just it's so needed um these things throw sound all over the room without you being able to pinpoint where that sound is coming from and at the end of the day, that is a surround speaker's job. You just don't you don't just want normal surround. You want that sound to be everywhere. It mustn't come from a certain place. I don't want to hear ah, oh, there's there's a surround there. The sound should just move and and sort of be mind blowing. Okay, so let's open this up. Again, their build quality is so on par. Okay, at the back, again, anti-vibration for the wall. Um, this one, I see they did put it so you can do both ways, but I don't think it's intended. I just think those are the brackets they had because there's only one way to mount the speaker, and that is like so. So you are going, let me see if I can get this cover off again. Go, cover off. Same driver, same tweeter, and then you have two drivers firing towards both sides making that a tripod design um, again having this in an entry setup is so cool so all i will do and what i'm going to do on this system is i am going to add it's going to be a seven channel system five on the floor the speakers you see here and i will do two ceiling speakers to give atmos and dtsx um, i'm going to see how good the sub is on its own because i mean it's the way the system was intended but I know myself, I'm a base head. I might add a bigger sub. But for the points of this review and the guys that asked for me to review this system, I'm going to let you know how good this system is out the box and then what I would change to make it better. So let's get to what we all want to see. It is the subwoofer. See how we can get the subwoofer out. Let's see how strong this plastic packaging is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's strong enough. There we go. Okay, I'm going to tilt it down again so you guys can see the sub. Okay, move this out the way. Let's get the plastic off. Why does this always happen when you don't want something to stick where it shouldn't stick? Okay. Let's get the plastic off. 
can't really feel what is where, so I'm being very cautious. I think that is the back because I feel inputs. Oh, okay, so that's the back. This is the front. These gloves are actually making life difficult because I can't feel properly. Okay, plastic off. Chuck this to the side. So we have this nice protective material on again. Take that off. Like this sock type cover. Put it on the side. Slip it off. Okay. Very nicely finished once again. Uh, we need to put on, I'm going to leave that there because there's not, we need to put on the anti-vibration feet. I'll do that. There is the 8 inch subwoofer. I actually think this thing is going to be surprising. Um, I've heard all this stuff so far. I haven't been disappointed. It's just the build quality, man. Look at this. So, let me point something out. You guys following my Validine subwoofer reviews. Now, this is not even close. I mean, the Validine subs cost what this entire system costs. But look what MK could do to this amplifier. Just look at this quality. Look and we have proper proper inputs proper knobs the feel is good um actually see this is a v8 i did not know this system can partner with a v8 sub i thought this was a sub that they specially designed for the system but this is actually a proper v8 sub now i have the v12s so i'm ex this is really how they did this for the money i'm sort of baffled really baffled guys i think this is going to be great bang for buck but okay so that is the sub there's the lcrs there's the surround um there's nothing in the box like wiring etc etc so you still need to purchase your rcas separate you need your speaker wires separate and your amplifier but this is a very good start i am going to let you guys know what i think of this system um i'm actually going to plug it up now i'm just going to see where i'm going to do it i think i think maybe in the mk cinema and might stay there for a demo have it on a on a selector on a switch so when guys come in demo i can switch over to different systems and demo it from there but okay guys, um, stay tuned. Next I'll be doing the Validine sub review as well. It's been playing in for the morning. So I'm going to do that next. And then I'm going to get to this bad boy. Um, if you guys want to see more like this, please like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. As you guys see now, you asked for this. I'm giving you this. And um, yeah, just enjoy what I do. So please like, subscribe. Helps the channel. Doesn't cost you a cent. Um, till next time. Cheers. Oh, let me just get this up a bit. How's it guys? Welcome back. Um, don't know if I have done, I don't think I've done a video on the Marantz SR5015. The new Marantz has started drilling back into stock now, eventually. But as far as I know, they're already all sold out again. Stock constraints continue to be a huge problem. But in any case, is what it is. I got this in today on the back of the um, MK Sound 5.1 system that I unboxed. And I'm busy reviewing that. It's an excellent little system. I just wanted to up the receiver slightly from what is in there now. It is a Denon um, 6500. 6500, 650, the 650H. Um, so the one with HEOS being 5.1, this being a 7.2 channel receiver, also with HEOS. And I do want to add two Atmos speakers. So, and I also thought for the price point where that system hits, it's worth going up one more. So I always say, guys, if you are spending 
let's say for instance now the mill and crystal that's 30,000 rand on that system this is a 24,000 rand receiver so that gives you a 50k system good place to be 50k get a nice nice system in there um i will go on to i don't want to talk in depth about the mill and crystals that's going to be a review on its own this is just going to be the unboxing of this telling you a bit more about this receiver and then i will link it into the video where the entire system is going to be playing okay so these are the new 8k units um they do work with the PlayStation, they do work with the Xbox. If you want to do 4K 120, they did roll out the new um, little boxes that I did do the review on a little while ago. And they work. Oh, I didn't cut the top. Um, the only thing I haven't been able to test again is if the Optoma handshake thing is still a problem. Because I don't use Optoma projectors anymore. And it doesn't look like anyone wants to send me one. So... Optoma's loss, don't care about them in any case, um, but for my own sanity, I would still love to test. So if any of my friends out there has an Optoma, bring it so we can test it um, and see if it actually does work. Uh, my OCD will not let it rest until I do know. In any case, so here are the new, uh, the new units, very much the same as before. Um, they, do, they do give a, a, a little bit of a different Hios booklet on top now. Um, it shows the new generation of Marantz stereo integrators coming out as well. Um, the new integrators are very nice. Be they very pricey. I've not been able to get my hands on one. I wanted to buy one, but then I saw the price. And you know what the problem is? Let's say, for instance, this unit comes with Hios. So here they explain the Hios to you. Brilliant. So you're streaming everything in one unit. I thought that that Marantz, what's the new, I, I forget the new model number. I thought that he is going to be on board. They are so clever. They put the streamer and the DAC in the CD player. So they force you to buy the DAC in the CD player. And it's like 100k a pop. So 100k for the amp, 100k for the DAC. No, thank you. Just some, somewhere one has to draw the line. In any case, on this side, there's your Odyssey microphone for setup. Um, I never even use this stuff. I leave it in the box for when I sell it on. Um, I open none of the stuff. So the client, when you buy something from me as a demo unit, you still get the new experience. On top there, your Bluetooth antenna, antenna is your old FM AM, if someone still used that. No one does, but they tick a box. You get all the stickers to mark your cables and your warning sheets and stuff to read at the back. Um, all the standard stuff. Here is the microphone stand if you want to build that with its instructions. I've got a proper mic stand. If you don't have one, I recommend getting one. If you don't, that will suffice. Marantz, Marantz remote. Standard stuff at this level. I always tell my clients that um, it's not backlit. Backlit only starts from the 7015. But I tell my clients, if you're going to go somewhere, start here. This is a good place to start. And the difference between the Marantz and the Denon. So as you guys know, Denon and Marantz are sister companies. Um, the Denon um, 2700 or 2600, did they make a 27? I'll just go and check my homework. I think they made a 27. So 2700 and this is basically the same unit but it also is not apart from the hdm DAC that the marantz has this has pre out sorry guys i'm trying to get these batteries out sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not there we go so the denon doesn't have pre out this has which makes a huge difference because this means that this one has processor mode so if you later want to add a power amplifier to your speakers you can do that, and if you want to run it completely on its own, you can set the new receivers, Denon and Marantz, but only if they have pre outs You can set them to processor mode where the amplifiers switch off, and you get pure processing power um, through to your equipment. Okay, so we'll take off the other side. That was where the microphone is in. So that's now out, and then we take out the amplifier or receiver. I always call them amplifiers, but 
this is a receiver receiver meaning it does it does processing it does power it does streaming it basically is an all-in-one box um, many purists sort of frown upon that but it is the way the world is going people don't want separates anymore um, apart from the added cost it's just not really necessary anymore I'm being honest I do like a power amp there's my big Rotel but um, even in my big Miller and Crystal, I'm just running a big receiver and it's sufficient okay a prong um, power cable kettle cord not going to be using that so that goes there and there is the unit um, you have your keyhole as you do on Marantz you do not have the flip down screen on this one um, only on the 7015 you get the flip down well the 6015 has a flip down screen but no um, no physical screen where you can see so you you reliant on the keyhole 7015 for me is the best out of all of these units because it has the keyhole and it has the flip down screen that you can see and the keyhole illuminates blue which i absolutely love this doesn't still a very good starting unit this all the knobs be the knobs plastic and not mold like on the bigger ones still a good feel on it the front face face is um unfortunately this is plastic where on the bigger ones you do get the milled aluminium face so you can see where they did cut a bit of cost but i still feel for the price this is the best place to be it's got a nice weight to it um, at the back when you turn around your standard stuff on here having your wi-fi antennas power um, seven channels two of them can be um you can select them for your height modules and then you have your where your pre-outs there's your pre-outs so you have your center you have four seven channel pre-outs on this one which is very nice at the price point um you've got your hdmis of which one of them is 8k for the new units and you've got the two outs and both of them are 8k out so yeah guys that's basically it i'm going to take this now and incorporate it into the miller and crystal system i'm going to run that for a while do some calibrations then i will be back with that complete review of the miller and crystal 5.1 okay guys welcome back so i have the small miller and crystal 5.1 system set up here um lcrs subwoofer i put behind the tv screen and then the um dip, tripod surrounds are at the back i have not added any atmos i'll do that later i wanted to test the system as is um reason why i went to this room so it's sort of it's sort of i won't say backfired but um this is why we do this sort of stuff so you guys can learn from our mistake what works and what doesn't work so my plan of this system was to do a cost-effective um, 5.1, 7.1 cinema. Um, this package does not lend itself towards being a proper cinema. So it might be okay for some, but it's not in my book. So it doesn't. a proper cinema gives you that cinematic experience where you can feel the sound. Um, you are in the motion. If, if you hear a gunshot, you feel the gunshot. If you crash a car, you are in that car crash. If you are watching Battleship, you are on that Battleship. So that for me is a cinema. So I've had this whole quest where I've tried to do it affordably, but it just seems that you cannot do this for under 250000 and that would be the clips room I did. Or then if you go to the Miller and Crystal, you're going to be in for the full half a bar. Um, this system though, because I, I had it in France in the France cinema room where I always demo. The room is just too big. Um, another thing is the NAD 778 in there does not pair well with 4 ohm load speakers. And I had that same problem with the NAD M10 when I had that. So I'm of the conclusion that digital amplifiers don't, don't do well with heavy loads. I will do some more testing in that, but it was just too bright. It wasn't a good combo. I almost was at the stage where I didn't like it at all. So I came in here, I connected it to the Denon um, um, 650H, the small one, um, and it sounded sublime. Got that calibrated in, it sounded excellent. 
and I thought maybe just get a bigger amplifier. So I got rid of the 650 and I got the Marantz 5015. The unboxing I just did just before this video, you're going to see in the same video. So this for me is the starting point. For me, there is smaller Marantz's, but this for me is the starting point and this is where I'll start. And this now works beautifully. So this system is, lends itself more towards the person that wants a good quality 5.1, 7.1, 7.2. Well, in this case, it's going to be the one subwoofer in a lounge or a smaller room. I would say like a, a 5 by 5 meter room maximum. So 25 square max. Nothing bigger than that. If you are going to go bigger than that, the speakers are up to the job. You need to change out the sub. Um, this little 8 inch is only good for that much and then it's sort of, um, it over exerts itself. So I did swap out a few subs like the Validine, the 10 inch, the DB10 I tested and worlds of difference. So I would say you can still run this sub as, or we use it in a different room with a stereo sub or you can use it at the back of the room for a bit of bass fill and then get yourself a nice 10 or 12 inch to run in front of the system. Then it's going to be nice. But anyways, as the system is now in this room, it's epic. I'm going to go through some demos, see if you guys can hear. Um, the detail is excellent. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the surround, but surround, excellent. For the price, so this comes in 30,000 Rand speaker system and a 24,000 Rand receiver. So you're basically in for 55K. Need to add some wires and, and, and. But sound system, 55K, you sort it and then add to TV or whatever that you want. So I'm gonna drop the lights now and then run through some demos. They might flag us, they might not. Let's see, I'm not gonna do some of the stuff like I did last Greatest Showman, that flag straight away. I'm gonna see what else there is that we can flag that might not be as high a caliber with recordings. Okay, let me put the lights off here. You you still get that proper um, M and K sound, be it on a smaller level. Even the smaller little surrounds are like smaller versions of the 150Ts. It's very nice, very cool system, nice entry system to dip your toes into the Miller and Crystal world. 
and um, can't go wrong. Just don't expect too much of this system. It is a high quality system of a high quality sound, but you aren't going to be breaking any windows, making any chairs shake, all of that. If you want to do that, upgrade the sub to one of the bigger ones. I would say go for a V12. Okay, guys, please, if you want to see more stuff like this, like, subscribe, comment at the bottom. Let me know what you want to see. Um, till next time. Cheers.